Rohan, you were chasing a tragic story. A Trenton police officer took his own life. Some might speculate that he did it because of an article in the Trentonian. What do you got? 22 year veteran of the Trenton Police Department who spent most of his years as a cop as a canine handler committed suicide in his Gloucester County home on Wednesday. Now, Ed Leopardi was being investigated by the county prosecutor's office in a prostitution sex probe. Now, the graphic details came out on Wednesday morning in the Trentonian newspaper. Now, the article, which was released before Leopardi's suicide on that day, stated that Leopardi had unprotected sex with a prostitute inside of the K9 headquarters building and actually used the curtains in the building to clean up afterwards. The curtains, the seat cushions, and Leopardi's K9 vehicle have been confiscated for the investigation. The prostitute also allegedly provided her clothing to the investigators from that day. Now, this investigation began after the prostitute was arrested on another matter, and she allegedly wanted help from, an, uh, from Officer Leopardi to maybe get her out of it. He didn't agree, and then she sang to the authorities about everything that she knew. Now, the details are lurid, but police and former police in the area are not happy with the way the Trentonian told the story. Some say it could have pushed Leopardi over the edge to take his own life on the day the article was released. I spoke to uh, Luddy Austin, who was actually a Trenton police officer, and went to police academy with Leopardi and worked with him for almost 18 years. When I received the news yesterday, uh, I was in shock. Um, you know, I immediately uh, went in prayer for his family, uh, as well as friends and the co-worker, you know, for the ones who are suffering from his loss. With the reporting, it's just a norm today, the way how the, uh, the media they exploit certain things to their advantage. And it's unfortunate, some, some things like that you do have to put in there to draw people to your to your uh, media outlet or to your newspaper. I had to reach out to the Trentonian himself. So I talked to Isaac Avalucia, and he is a co-author of the article with David Foster. He actually came to our studio to speak to me today. You know what, the Trentonian, maybe we have this bad boy reputation and we rock with stuff that maybe other people don't rock with, but I don't think that's the case in this particular instance. I think it was a well-sourced story. It was an important story. Mm -hmm. You know, we were the first persons to put kind of Ed Leopardi out there, and we would need Nostradamus-like foresight mm -hmm. to see this coming. He also told me something interesting and showed me a text message that he said was from Michael Walker, the spokesman for Eric, Amer Eric Jackson in Trenton, who sent uh, Trentonian columnist L.A. Parker a text message that day that says, I hope you're happy that you got your pound of flesh. So I, I asked him to respond on that. Uh, and no, Michael, we're not happy that we got a pound of flesh. It's a tragedy when anybody takes him life, takes his life, uh, specifically a, a Trenton police officer. Mm -hmm. I mean, th this was an, a complete overreaction mm -hmm. to something that hadn't even been ferreted out completely. Just because something is embarrassing doesn't mean you don't report on it. And we ourselves earlier this week reported on a terror suspect before he was formally charged. Mm -hmm. So you can't necessarily wait until the news has already passed. So does everyone here in agreement that there's no anti-cop agenda in the Tim media? Hughes, would you feel is. as strongly about the Trentonian publishing this if it was about a public works uh, employee or the head of a union? I'm going to tell you something. I would now. I would now, and I'll tell you why, because now this is the second time. This is the second time that their agenda has come out very clear. But I'll tell you the truth. I'd be very surprised if they would do this if this wasn't a police officer.